It was fire. Here we are. I think the best that that's that stadium stock. Oh, back to us. Back to us. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going back. We're going back. to re We got the replays. Oh, there it goes. Ah, ah. Up smash. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Good clean combo. All right. This is, yeah, watch this ledge dash up tilt that he does. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, it, was right. it, it was before that. It was, it was that. what yeah. put him in that yeah. position, yeah. though. It was right before that. Mm-hmm. No, that was a, that was it. I don't think I see a fox play the Marth matchup that way, usually. Like, yeah. with platforms, like, that, you're usually mm -hmm. told not to do that because of just, you don't want to get caught in the air. Yeah. But Skurza would get leads and then play the platform game. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I, I don't think. That's unique. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I think it's really hard to play keep away with Marth because th there are so many options that Marth has r directly above him, up tilt, up air. Mm -hmm. It's just a precarious place to be. But theoretically, if you're clean with it, you know, and you are able to play that keep away, it's so frustrating for Marth because you can't get those things that you that lead to those big punishes, which are down tilt, knockdowns, grabs, yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus, you always got the tried and true run to one side of the stage, throw some uh, throw some bullets, yeah. and then run to the other side of the stage, throw some more bullets. No, it makes sense. I think that um, it's it's good to see. And this is one of the things that's funny. Mm -hmm. So what put me on that that uh, that Fox beat Marth, this is when I really started believing it, is Leffen played PPU at EVO 2014. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, you can just like not engage and lazy <laughs> when you have a lead. You and don't force Marth, have you can, to do it. You can force Marth to come to you. I'm like, oh. So it was interesting. To, as, it was cool to see a Fox like – Back off and force the Mart to get the engagement when when mm -hmm. in the lead. So I like what Skurzo did. All right. So this I've heard about this. It's good. this is a storied matchup. So Palpa and SDJ, they're both actually Jigglypuff mains, but Palpa does not like the Jigglypuff data, so he plays Fox, mm -hmm. and he is po possibly one of the best Foxes versus Jigglypuff in the world, legitimately. He's undefeated lifetime versus Hungry Box. I, I know it's a 1-0. Sorry for <laughs> being a little disingenuous yeah, with the yeah. stats. It's he only 1-0. He's never lost the Hungry Box. never lost the Hungry Box in his life. Box. Okay, okay. It is 1-0. And, mm -hmm. and it was online. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1-0 and it was online. Let me have this. Uh, but they go back and forth, literally take turns. It's it's 5-4. SDJ is up. So it's Palpa's turn to win if the pattern continues. I heard that didn't Palpa win and then, like, pop off super hard? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that was a game five at the at a different LTC, not low. He, like, jumped off Lost stage. Tech City. It was low tide city. Yes, he jumped very high. Very – he's deceptively athletic, let me tell you, because he got, he got some bunnies after that game. I was just like, dang, can you touch rim? Uh, but uh, he – yeah, so – as good as he is versus Fox, SDJ is just a little different. He, or Sorry, versus Puff. Mm -hmm. SDJ is just a little different. Uh, he plays weird. He doesn't do the things that you expect him to do a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. He is someone that I've always said uh, does not play the matchup. He plays the player. Okay. He'll do anything he can to pick apart your tendencies and your preferences and, and make them frustrating uh, to, to do. And... He'll he'll do he'll give up guaranteed openings to do something weird, and it'll it throws people off. That's what I've heard. That's what SFAT said too. And, and and you'll you'll get frustrated with him. Like, why didn't you just rest that? Or that's a guaranteed edge guard. Why didn't you, why did you dare him to do some weird di mix up? Mm -hmm. uh, and and he just throws them off. And I think that overall benefits his play. I think in the long run, even though he could have guaranteed that stock, it, in the long run it. It makes people play uncomfortably. It throws them off tilt SF because they said, don't know what to expect. That's what said when they when they played. He was like, "I'm just thrown off by like some of the options." He like yeah. was thrown off by some of the options that SDJ went for. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty much exactly how you described it. Yeah, uh, it, it goes to show you that no matter how good an option is, uh, if it's expected and people are comfortable and know it's coming, uh, it 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 can be dealt with. Whereas even bad options are powerful if the opponent doesn't see them coming coming ever. So I'm excited to see how they deal, uh, how Palpa deals with SDJ this time. It is his turn to win. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, Palpa, the way Palpa plays Fox, uh, looks like he took every technique that's ever been used against him and rolled it up Dude. into uh, the perfect puff slaying Fox. People are always so good against their character yes. with Fox. It's like he absorbed all of their techniques like Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Every fox he's ever de defeated, he took one of their their tech skill uh, abilities. Right now, okay. Mm -hmm. How do these like usually? 
how are like, these long sets or how have they been? Have they been one sided? What, 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 what do you think? It happens? depends. I think if Palpable. Oh. I, think, I think it's just typical of the matchup. If the Fox is winning, it's usually a lot faster. Whereas okay. if the Puff is winning, they're, they have the ability to slow it down. Also, going to Dreamland game one. I, <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but part of me feels like. Uh, Palpa forgot he was playing Fox, and he's just like, okay, I'll start Dreamland. And he's like, oh, wait. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> I yeah. forgot that. <laughs> oh, man. But no, I, I don't think that's true at all. I think he genuinely likes this stage okay, in this yeah, matchup. Yeah. I, I, I agree that it's somewhat neutral. Uh, having having the very wide stage, uh, making sure that you get these up throw up airs at the exact correct percent. Even though the, the percent window is smaller in which it kills, it still exists. You know what I mean? So as long as you're comfortable getting those precise kills, uh, it's not that bad. Okay. We still side B from the Legend 2022. Yeah, that was actually good. good. You know, put, right now, he's putting hands on him. Yeah, right now he really is. This is not looking like the rivalry that I was sold. Oh, know? no, no, no. This is typical. Oh, this, really? This is definitely normal. Uh, SDJ will do this weird thing where it looks like he's uh, just not in any position to win this set, and then suddenly he'll just completely change who he is as a person. <laughs> and, and it's like, who am I playing now? What is this? He morphed into somebody who I can't predict, and everything he does works. Huh. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Papa's just going to swiftly 3-0 this guy. But from what I know about SCJ, he changes modes instantly. Okay. And that's another thing that throws people off. All right. That was nice. That was insane that was SCI nice. for no reason. That was nice. <laughs> that was fire. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay. That's no, looking like a Fox no that's undefeated contact versus H-Box. Right? <laughs> I know eye contact. We're beefing. Don't look at me. Don't speak to me. That's fine. There, there, is, there is plenty of beef in this room, but it's not here. It's not here. These guys are cool. Oh, these guys are cool? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah they're cool. There's plenty of beef with both of these guys, but not with each other. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, top platform helps out. So can you still rest? CP0, uh, can you still rest there? I, I just want to point out just for one second, real quick, that SCJ counterpicked at Yoshi's. <laughs> right, we went Dreamland into Yoshi's. <laughs> They're not like other puffs, guys. They're cool puffs. I'm a cool puff. I got a Yoshi's on my counterpick. I'm not like these other puffs. And even this decision, I would not put it past SCJ to be something to throw Palpa off. Like, you know, he didn't expect this at all. You know what I do respect, though? Because sometimes I think people just go to counterpick because of their character's counterpick and don't acknowledge, like, the difference in play. Yes, you know? I agree. I, I think that this is a perfectly valid uh, pick Ooh. to... Yo ah! Oh, you read it. It was a read. You had yeah, a read. Yeah, yeah, RTC yeah. No, to, to recognize when an opponent has a really strong uh, strategy and which stage is the hardest to perform that on. And that is, it's the stage. It really I've seen is. so many floaties lose game three sets, game five sets, because they took a box of three land last and then got camped. They were like, yeah. man. Yeah, regretted that. Regret. Ooh, we went punishing? Okay. Yeah, Palpa always keenly aware of what the hardest options of Jigg for Jigglypuff to cover are on recovery. So, so he's actually really hard for Jigglypuff to recover. Make it a as long as yeah, as long as he's above the ledge, his his fastball timing. I mean, that's a good defense. Is it's just like a lot of times, you know, it's about making your opponent work a little bit harder mm -hmm. every time. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the hardest option to cover, and I'm gonna keep doing it until you prove that you can deal with it. Jabs on shield into nope. Okay. Uh, Good drift from SCJ to avoid that back air. Oh, yeah. The second oh, hit. Ooh, huge just commitment. Touching with the toes a little bit. <laughs> you know, just touching with the toes. Okay. Just a little. Just a little. Ooh. To... Okay. Real. Good. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Suddenly we are tied. Oh, yeah. And uh, suddenly. Yo, that was almost it. Was I almost can't believe it. he almost died at 47. Right. <laughs> ooh. Is there a reaction? To... Oh, I don't know. It? Got him. All right. Mm. Just like that. Uh, ooh. Yo, that that, that, that was sick, that right? It, 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 it just fire. barely prevented Palpa from getting his jump back. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. I don't know. Yeah, 
This is this is a this is a tense moment right here. Is this it? Nice DI though. Okay. Nice grab. Nice oh, the we, mash. We, we he was at 28. We, we mashed those. He only got one pummel. Yo. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Just a few more percent that would have sent him off stage. Up there, up here, we'll, we'll get him up out of here though. I think. Yeah. Up there, up air, but also up there, arrest. They're both at a good position to kill each other. Ooh, the pound. Oh. oh. Uh, I was shocked that that bear missed that side B. It looked like he covered exactly that. Yo. Ah. Uh, yo. A lot of times in those like situations, it's about crack first. And when I see a fox just whipping up smash, I always think they cracked a little. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Cracked yeah. a little. It's, cause it, it's really easy to say that when they whip, but a lot of times it's just like they just throw it out there. I'm like, yeah, I know that tension should be building. It builds up. You're like, oh, I need to win. I just need to. I need to end this. Yep. Yep. So I feel like I didn't see any of those matches like that prior. I can't, honestly, it, it was a little bit of a flub too from Palpa for uh, not hitting oh. that tech. But SCJ oh, oh. winning on Yoshi's is such a uh, again, it's 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 it is so classic SCJ. Wow, odd decision from Duncan, but it worked. <laughs> you you can't argue with the results, even though you disagree with every decision he makes. Grab, we no crab, yeah. He's, nice he's matching his next level. That was 38. Get one pummel plus 40. Is this a down throw? Right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, down throw can be buffered. Technically, if you're frame perfect, uh, you can guarantee one pummel in all throws. Yeah, one, but you have to be frame perfect. But you, yeah, you have to be frame perfect. Uh, the down throw is the only one that you can buffer. Ooh, okay, okay. Missing the SDI on that jab get that, uh, gets that jab up smash link for Palpa. Trying to find a bear. <laughs> get, get a couple percent. That's good. We're almost there. Get the back. He yeah. knew. Yeah, there was no point going for that up air because it wasn't gonna kill. You pull the back. You use the. You get the bear and then you go back to the neutral. Uh, lasers. We got what we came for. Disengage. Yeah, disengage. Yeah. Again. This is. Tough. You this gotta be tough. you gotta be careful. So people always remember, oh, you gotta be ready to DI left or right on that up throw, otherwise you'll get up there arrested. But the other way, puffs always have to remember that when Fox is running towards you, you gotta DI or SDI that jab that they're gonna run into. With. The most frustrating fox is this one. Bunch of straight hits, hard to convert in anything. Foxes also are more likely to play like to not get hit around this percent because they don't want to lose their stock. Yeah. So they tighten up defensively. This is like, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get my back. Can't rest though. So you're gonna need a combo. Okay. That is what convention would say, but <laughs> you never know what he's gonna do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. This is a tough one. Huge reach, but you gotta make something happen. Yeah. Yeah, he's eating way too much laser present right now. Oh, the big combos, combo. Big combos. I like. Oh uh, no! Oh uh, no! Wait. I was just. I was, you know? I didn't get away with the rest if you get it right now. If he di's out, no. Nah. He, if if he di's out and dies quickly, he can get enough lasers to up smash kill. Definitely not now. No, no, no. Uh, for, 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 uh, that SCI on that up air. Holy cow! Wait, wait. This would be a crazy comeback. Yeah, I get my better. Okay, okay. We'll play, we'll play. We'll pop off. Okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So it is Pal it was Palpa's turn. That was as planned. That was as planned. He did. Okay, he oh yeah, he won. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean like that was like now it's five five. It, yeah, it's five five. They're tied Ooh. in sets now. They should run like a high they should run like a money match or something. <laughs> like high stakes money match. We they don't need to. They're gonna play again. Okay. <laughs> they always do. Okay. They okay. they always they always meet up. Mm -hmm. Oh man. All right. Look at this. Look at this up smash. Ooh, that was crazy. I'm telling you, he teleported behind him. The trajectory ended. He he was coming from behind Fox, but it doesn't matter. What's the point of SDI when you're at 90% mm -hmm. on a Fox up smash? Mm -hmm. This is impressive, too. Winning on Yoshi's was tough. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. so random, like you said. I wonder what he banned. Do you think he banned Stadium? Because they played on FD. Sound. I don't know. I think, I think conventional uh, counter pick, counter picking and bands between these two is just like pointless. But yeah, I think this is a 
this is like a good Fox, I think, match to like. Papa played this really well. <laughs> you know, the the first time I ever played SDJ, uh, we struck to F FD uh, Ice Climbers versus Pop. Uh, struck to FD, probably the best stage in the match matchup for Ice Climbers. And I was just like, 